was good, y'all. Just touched down in San Francisco. We got to the Hyatt to check in. It's a zoo in here. That's the check-in line. Literally the check-in the hotel. It goes all the way out the back door. Uh, it's 12, game's at 3.30. There's a lot of Lions fans here, honestly. I'm in incognito mode right now for the flight. I don't want to get bullied, but I'm a Lions fan. Yeah, I mean, our goal was to check into the hotel, shower, change, get our gear on, go get some beers, but I don't know that we're going to be able to check in. I might not be able to check into my room, but I'm going to change into my Lions gear anyway. I feel like a poser in just a black hoodie. All right, gentlemen, we're walking over what do we got two hours till kickoff two hours till kickoff it's so weird though that we were here last week in the san fran gear it was rainy though it's kind of messed up it was rainy it was gross we were basically seeing what team we were going to play next because either we hosted the packers if they won which they really should have uh, or we played the niners here's the thing we're the, scouts. the rain definitely favored the packers because the niners are the better team but brock purdy looked like shit in the rain this is a perfect day like the football gods descended on santa clara oh yeah and said we're gonna have good weather it is 70 degrees partially cloudy it's a beautiful day for football so there's no rain excuses there's no nothing we just gotta win today vegas has the spread at minus seven which is disgusting so gotta yeah, overcome the odds. regardless gonna be an amazing game well last week when we were here we didn't care it didn't matter to us if the niners or the packers won you know but now it's like the most important thing in the world we have found some lions fans though there's definitely a lot more uh, Lions fans here than were Packers last week, but also the Lions haven't been to the NFC Championship in... Actually, God knows when. When's the last time I've been to the NFC Championship? I don't know. It's, it's been at least 40 years, something like that. So, Because we haven't won a playoff game since 91, but that's not even talking about the NFC Championship. That's a whole different ball game. Dude, I've been in some really hostile stadiums. Nobody here is hostile. No. Everybody's so nice. I mean, it's the NFC Championship. Here we go completely different atmosphere this time. It's almost like they didn't take the Packers seriously. Maybe I'm just delusional. Dude, for real though. But it feels so different in here. All right, we're gonna go check into our seats, see what it looks like. We're a lot closer this time, but we're on the Lions side. So we're, we're basically polar opposite of where we sat for the Packers game. It sounds really weird, but this feels like a college game, which is a good thing. Really feels like a college game. I don't know how to describe that any other way. If you look into the field pass area, sorry, it's really bright, but the field pass area right now is what you call WAGS. W-A-G-S, like a dog wags their tail. Wives and girlfriends of the players. Very easy to spot, not the most fun people to interact with. I once, uh, sorry El, I once clapped uh, Michael Porter Jr.'s wag. Well, they weren't together. And uh, yeah, she sucked, but she was really hot. Thought I'd tell you guys that. I normally wouldn't do this, but these two Niners fans just said they want to be on the vlog. I got you. <laughs> he yeah. said Niners fight like 20. Lenore. Remember the name. The Amador Lenore. He is a dog, though. Oh, he's giving me how to pronounce it, too. <laughs> how do you say it? How do you say it? It's Lenore. The Amador Lenore. The Amador Le Bum. This is a dub for the Lions. Jared Gump. Jared Gump. Jared
He's got it. timeout from Dan Campbell there. On third and goal, we run it, get stuffed. He calls a timeout. So now there's 56 seconds left and two timeouts. So we have to kick an onside. And if we don't get the onside, the game's virtually over. That was a really bad decision, I think, but hopefully we get the onside, we'll see. Down by three with 56 seconds. I don't know what that was. So we don't, we don't get the onside kick. Timeouts, and there's 56 seconds. So if we use two, they can still burn 40. We just lost the game. That was a horrible timeout down here on the goal line. I'm embarrassed, man. I still love this team. I still love Detroit. I love Dan Campbell. I love the Lions. We'll be back in the same position next year. We'll win at that time.